Hello, so here is my Instagram and here is an app I've been building now for a while, it's called insta to blog and uh, the point is that you can uh, click a button to connect your Instagram and export all your posts from Instagram into this application. And an interesting problem I've been solving recently is receiving these uh, text captions from Instagram and finding uh, hashtags and mentions inside of them. So in this particular application, you see I can uh, find hashtags and if you click on one of the hashtags, you would see all the posts with this particular hashtag. So that's what we are going to learn to do in uh, today's episode. Here you see I've got an empty Ruby on Rails application where we've got some posts, each post has a body and some of the posts have some kind of hashtags or mentions and we are going to find all these mentions and turn them into links and whenever you click a hashtag or a mention you would see all the posts related to this hashtag or this mentioned user. So without further ado let's start. Now again I've got um, a default application where I've got some default texts and for each of the text I've created a separate post. And you see I've just got one scaffold of posts and the post has a body. So now we want to uh, to try to find these hashtags. So we would need to find a regex, we would need to use a regex to find all the words that start with the, this hashtag sign. So let's uh, actually try to write a helper. I think helpers would be a good place for this. So default Ruby on Rails scaffolds give us this uh, helpers and let's create a helper to find hashtags. So let's say def find hashtags. And we're going to have, uh, well, we're going to pass in some kind of text here. And we're going to scan the text uh, for uh, some kind of regex for this hashtag. So the regex would be a hashtag then we would have uh, the whole word and the end of regex. So basically with this uh, specific regex we are looking for all uh, the uh, word after this uh, hashtag sign. So if we were looking for a mention for example it would be not the hashtag sign but this at sign. But in this particular case we are going to start with the uh, hashtags. So let's try to see what this uh, text or scan would give us. Let's uh, get some kind of dummy text. I will take the first line of text from uh, here. Let's say text equals this. And let's try running this inside our console. I will say Rails console. Okay, here we've got a text and we're going to say text.scan for these signs. And you see, it found uh, and created an array of these uh, particular elements that fit this uh, regex. So, looks good. We've got these elements and now we want to, let's say, highlight them or at least try to replace them with something else for the start. So, let's uh, try to do it. So, the result from this are all the hashtags that we find. So, let's say results equals text.scan for hashtags. And we're going to take each hashtag, so results dot each do result. We are taking each of the hashtags and we're going to uh, replace it with something else in our text. So I will say text.gsub and we're going to take this result and replace it, let's say, with ABC. And let's try running this command and see what to, it gives us. So we'll have results and we're going to replace uh, these uh, hashtags inside our text with ABC. And now if I type text, you see both of the hashtags have been replaced with ABC. Okay, looks uh, good. And we can actually try to display this inside of uh, our post partial. So here, okay, let me start the server, quit Rails server. And let's go to the post partial, here it is. So uh, I will uh, wrap the post body into this find hashtags method from our helpers. Well, helper. And you see, uh, okay, so it just gives us the hashtags or nothing. So we want to actually return the text in the end. So let's refresh and you see all the hashtags have been replaced with ABC. This way you can actually potentially also try to censor some kind of specific words. Okay, so we replaced the hashtags with ABC, but it's definitely not what we want. We want to, to turn them into, let's say, a link. 
so to be able to turn them into a link, we would need to uh, create a link. So we would say link, or let's say uh, result link equals link to the name will be result. So it's going to be the hashtag itself. And it will be again posts path. And in the params, we're going to pass search equals uh, the result itself. And uh, we are going to replace uh, it, the hashtag not with the, the ABC, but with the, this link that we are building. So let's see if this would work. I'm going back and you see, magically we have this uh, URLs, but they don't look really pretty at the moment. So we would need to add some kind of uh, format in here. We could try saying .html save and it kind of works. And if you click any of the hashtags, you see it is added to the URL. So it looks quite nice, but actually better than just adding HTML save here, we can uh, add the simple format here. So simple format around this. And simple format is also going to give us line breaks where needed. So here you see, it gave us a line break. In the seeds, this, uh, 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 slash n would mean a line break. And uh, you see it gave us this uh, specific line break where we needed it. So this is why you can use simple format to uh, allow your text to have line breaks. So okay, we've got the simple format, we find the hashtags and we highlight them as links. So let's actually make these links uh, searchable. So let's say in our post controller, if we have params search, we are going to try to search for something. So going back to our post controller, we are going to add uh, some kind of search. I will say post equals post.order created at descending and uh, I will say post equals if uh, params search dot present. We are going to have some kind of search filter else we will say uh, uh, posts yeah else it will be just the uh, posts let's try to format and here we're going to say uh, so we're going to add some kind of search query and uh, it's going to be something like uh, posts dot where uh, the body uh, matches so it will be I like uh, it is case sensitive if you add I like um, question mark and here we're going to have uh, so percentage params search uh, something like this so let's format and uh, supposedly this should work let me refresh and you see, now we have all the posts that have this uh, code the zoo hashtag. I will add, the, I will click on this multi poo hashtag and, and it didn't work for some reason. Um, okay, let's go back. So let me try to use this hashtag, this hashtag. Okay, um, interesting. So uh, it seems to be partially working, but just partially. Let's try this hashtag. Okay, I might have uh, a mistake here. Maybe it should be uh, I like from big letters. Okay, yeah, and it should also have a, yeah, it should definitely have a percentage in the end. Yeah, let's search once again. Okay, now it uh, searches correctly. Yeah, I forgot this percentage sign in the end. So, okay, now we've added search. Looks quite good. Now let's add uh, some improvements to our method. So here we've got our post path and we search for the result. Let's also uh, add some kind of highlight, um, so kind of CSS style into these uh, uh, links. So let's make them not blue, but let's make them, let's say, green, for example. So we would add some kind of class, let's say class or, yeah, class will be uh, uh, green, for example. And let's add this class to our application CSS. So dot green will be color green. 
let's refresh and you see the links have been all colored green looks quite good okay and now let's also work on our mentions so see we have a few mentions here and let's also highlight them so uh, instead of building a separate method we would actually uh, build a method that would be allowing us to use multiple regexes so let's do that so uh, def uh, uh, with regex and we're going to pass the, te the text and inside we're going to pass uh, uh, as many regexes as we want and we'll be able to pass as many classes as we want let's uh, say with regex and we're going to pass the first regex it's going to be this one for example so uh, uh, regex equals the sign and then we're going to find the hashtags for this text and this regex and we'll say this will be the equal this will equal the text so we've got this regex and here after the text we're going to pass the regex and here we're going to again pass the regex okay and instead of calling find hashtags in our post we're going to say uh, with regex and uh, uh, we will rename this method uh, uh, find by regex, for example. So let's refresh, and everything should work just as before. But uh, having rewritten this this way, we give us ourselves much more flexibility to be able to add more regexes to our text. So let's add one more regex. Let's say the add sign, and again we're going to have the text. So I will refresh. And I scroll down and you see the add signs have also been colored. I click on the add sign and it also searches for this particular uh, mention. So you see, now we've got both uh, mentions and we've got hashtags. So it looks quite nice. And this kind of solution will be much more scalable. Now let's also color our mentions and our hashtags into different colors. So we would be able to also maybe pass some kind of uh, uh, class variable here. So I would say... Here we would have comma CSS class, and we would define some kind of CSS class. So let's say for uh, hashtags it will be uh, green, and for uh, and for mentions it will be let's say red. So here again we will say CSS class it will be red, and we are going to add the CSS class as a variable to our find by regex and we're going to replace our class green with this CSS class and now let's add this class of red to our application CSS so let's say dot red color red and refresh and you see now all the mentions are red and all the hashtags are green and whenever we click any of them we automatically search by this particular hashtag so that's about it in this uh, episode we've uh, added search by uh, hashtags and uh, by mentions and uh, we've written a scalable way to search uh, words by specific regex and uh, add uh, uh, links to them and add uh, classes to them. So thanks for your attention. Have a great time.